What's that? What's that smell? That was good. Watch out, there's a bee behind you. Okay. Well, let's go closer and try aim for something. Okay, which one are you aiming for? That was so good, Cody. That one was really good. If you switch in, that would have been a strike. That was good. That's way good. Hey, you're really close. No. So you're gonna switch now and do baseball? Go for it, hurry up. Let's see your baseball pitch. Get up there. Man, you got a good pitch. <laughs> Are you a pitcher? Is that what you do? Well, I used to pitch, but now I play catcher. That's a good job, too. He's good. Maybe you could relieve the pitcher if they get a sore shoulder during the game. <laughs> Go 
ready to catch fly ball? Yeah. So make the line here. I'm gonna throw a couple fly ball. Oh, no. You're killing me, Smalls! You can get it. Make sure you get your glove up. You got it. You got it. Be ready. Go for it. Get it. Oh, you got to put your hand in front of it. Try. Oh, watch out. There's a bee. Just dip your head in the bucket. Go over there. Go over there. Michael, obviously we're at the hidden stage, okay? This is probably the most fun, you know? Ground balls aren't as fun. Hitting is quite fun. Okay, so we're going to split the group up into two groups. Uh, one group will go with Hank. He's busy doing something. The other group's going to come over here with me, okay? It doesn't really matter where we're going. We're all going to get the same amount of swings, okay? Um, biggest thing with hitting is keeping ground balls and swinging hard, okay? Uh, I don't care if you swing and miss. Uh, hopefully we hit some homework, but if not, it's okay. But uh, enjoy it, have some fun. We'll take about five swings each because we have a smaller group. And then if we have time, we'll go for, I know if you're in my group, we'll go for a home around so you get one swing and move on, okay? So uh, that's basically it, okay? Do you have any questions? On this field, no, I've only been here like five days. So that's my first, or last night was my first game here. So, um, all right, I'm sorry. I didn't play last night. Alright, easy enough.
Watch out, there's a V behind you. Hard. Two heck. Hold that bat right. Get your elbow up. She's like, it's too low. There it goes. Way far. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Dang. Were you aiming for the pole? That's crazy. Swing hard. Down here? That's stinky down here. Is that what it is? That's what it is. It's B.O. It's B.O. Um, so this is actually clean. It's like one of those after a game. Uh, in fact, the coach may have things. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's kind of it. I don't really know how to describe it. Here we go. Oh, we got the new jerseys. What's that? Is, What's that smell? No, oh, it's just it's a lot of spray that made it smell this good. <laughs> Usually it can be a lot worse. Why are there so many clothes hanging in there? Oh, um, it's actually, yeah. So we have our white jerseys. Um, that's one of our tops at home. So white jersey, white pants. Each of us usually has like two or three pants. Like me, like I have a pair of long pants and a pair of mids and then a pair of highs. Um, under shirts, shorts, workout gear, hoodie, extra under clothes for some reason. It's a lot. 
practice top, special top, and then alternate black, which we actually wear this on the home and the away. Um, everybody, and you have like all your angel stuff, the angels on our contracts here. They, you know, they they work with the bees, so we also have all our angels here. It's usually a lot more red in the lockers, but we don't really wear it here. And then all of our grays. Um, some people are very organized. Like we have a guy right now in the big leagues. Uh, his name is John Lamb, and like everything has to be folded perfectly. Like everything has to be color coordinated, or he'll just like lose his mind. <laughs> and then you have Cash, who's me. Um, obviously, my locker is. Yeah, my mom would be proud. So let's just avoid looking at that locker. Um, a good locker is Clark. He keeps his stuff together. But yeah, other than that. Uh, we actually usually come in and immediately put on a fun song and everybody dances, surprisingly. <laughs> it's, it's true. We, right the now, Macarena or the Chicken Dance? Or... I'm trying to remember what we're playing right now. Oh, there's a song of a guy playing the saxophone, and it's the same beat every four seconds for like seven hours. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he knows. And we play that one. <laughs> Which, like, four people really don't like it, so, like, we're celebrating. They're not really happy. They get out of here as fast as possible. <laughs> What do you got? Uh, how many cleats do I have? I think I have like six pairs. I have like three pairs of road cleats and I have three pairs of home cleats. Um, a lot of people here have their alternate yellows. So like, uh, when you go up to the big leagues here, they wear all reds. So they also have all their reds. So like you can tell black and reds there, the trouts. Um, some people just go with black. You have trouts? Yeah, these actually look like trouts. That's cool. Um, you see a lot of people will have the black and yellows. Uh, Morales actually has these custom ones, which are pretty cool. Not too bad. He's got these and he's got them in black with a gray bottom and then black with a white bottom, black with a yellow bottom. And he's got these with white with a black bottom. So, yeah, some of us can be divas. I actually go to Marcos for all my cleats because they're like 12 bucks and I just really don't care. And I find a good day with Marcos. Um, did you guys used to have a disco ball? Actually, they did two years ago. Are all those shoes one player, or are they just the different shoes you guys have? Uh, these are the guys that haven't picked their cleats up yet or put them in last night. So, like, after every game, we put our cleats out, and then a guy will come by and pick them up, and they'll scrub them and clean them for us. Oh. Scrubbing bubbles actually is the best thing to clean a shoe or clean with. Um, literally, every clubhouse will have scrubbing bubbles. Like, every single one of it is right there. Total scrubbing <coughs> bubbles. Yeah, it's magic. It's unbelievable. Um, that was actually the first thing I learned when I got to minor leagues was, I was like, why are there 40 cans of scrubbing bubbles throughout the locker room? Like, it's like the best thing for police. It literally turned out to be true. Good to know. So, good to know for mom. So they're just various players that have to put them away. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, so it's like most places will put them back for you, but like here they just like, it's just you walk in, it's your home Pick up your shoes. Um, we have to pay what we call a clubby fee. So we have a clubby and he usually has like two or three assistants that will take care of stuff. Like if we need someone to go get us food while we're at the field or we need for some reason somebody to go grab something. Um, like if somebody needs a Red Bull, they actually don't hold Red Bulls here just because it's a high caffeine, high sugar and the owners were Mormon. So like we respect that. So we don't have Red Bulls here. So they'll go out on Red Bull runs for us. But we have to pay them $15 a day. So 140 games, $15 a day, turns out to be a lot of money at the end of the season. But they do a lot of great things for us. Like our clubbies are awesome. Some clubbies are amazing, and then some you go there and they just don't really do anything. So they don't get tipped well. So. There you go. But like these guys are, I mean, we really have a great staff here. Um, our guy's been doing it for 30 years. So like he's obviously got his routine down. He's been here for a while. But same as cleats, you have guys that have multiple gloves too. Um, my glove game this year is actually really slow. Um, I only have like three. And then Jafari's got three just there, last name Blash. He actually paints on all of his gloves too. He's more of the hippie guy. 
guy from the island. But he'll uh, paint on all his gloves and get bored and do all kinds of stuff. Oops, sir. You know, just reminders, you know, love and all that. Bar's a good dude. Uh, most people probably have three or four gloves, so what up? How many bats do everybody Ah, uh, cool. This is the bat rack. Um, as you can tell, like, each person will have, like, three bats in here. But they actually have them hidden right now. There's usually, each player has, like, a big bat bag that probably has 30, 40 bats in it. Yeah, so I mean, you'll have, and everybody's different. I mean, that's a fungo, so we're not even going to look bad. Um, for Sanyo, all of his are custom, so he has his own logo. As they call these lizard skins, make them custom, stand out a little bit. He's a max bad guy. So, and everybody usually has one helmet, unless they break it for some reason, which it's a long season, so sometimes it gets broken. Gloves get thrown and helmets get broken. Y'all don't need to do that because you might hit someone with your helmet. Because I've seen 12 year olds when they start throwing stuff, they just hit each other and it's not good. <laughs> um, this is our bullpen bag for pitchers. How cute! It's got, uh, it's got candy in it. Like, don't let it fool you. Right now, I think it's low, so we don't have like a lot of candy. But y'all shouldn't eat candy too much. Bad for your teeth. We actually have no candy in here right now. I wanted to get on to someone about that. Usually fans will bring us random candy and we'll dump it in there and we'll have, we'll pretty much just sit out in the bullpen and eat candy the whole game. Okay. <laughs> Athletes, right? Keep your sugar up. Yeah, sugar up. Because you can run. Are the bats made of wood or metal? Uh, all of these are wood. You have birch, uh, birch, you have maple. I think maple's actually gotten out because the way it was breaking was too sharp and it was becoming a safety hazard. Each bat is modified in its own way. Some have thicker barrels, some have thinner barrels, some have thicker handles. Each player literally at half an inch will change their whole swings. They are so particular about their bat. Like they'll get a bat in and they'll look at it in the light, see if it's lined up, if it's crooked. We actually had a guy last year when I was with the Dodgers. He wasn't hitting well and then he started noticing all of his bats are barely crooked. So he started ordering new bats and then average like shot up. He wasn't missing balls by like that much anymore happens when your bat's crooked. Okay guys, time's up, but we can ask him if you want to ask him. What do you got? What kind of thing are you going to start? I'm going to leave it. That's a lot of bats. Good thing they don't have wings. <laughs> Remember that bat when we were camping? Oh, close your eyes as you walk out. It's going to be so bright.
Let's go. 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 Let's go.